In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use math in JavaScript. I purposely kept up the work we had in our last session uh, just to show you how to clear out the console. All you have to do is either come up here and click reload or hit uh, Control R, or if you're on a Mac, uh, uh, you can hit Apple R and that will clear it all out for you. So in this lesson, we're going to go over how to use math in JavaScript. And uh, if you're wanting to learn other programming languages, this will also come in very handy because the things that we use in this, uh, in JavaScript, are going to be used pretty much universally in all other programming languages with just a few minor differences. So it's very good to learn it now. Uh, so to start off, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a couple variables. And so we're going to go with var num1, set that equal to 10. And we're going to do var num2, and we'll set that equal to 2. So those will give us a couple numbers that we can play with. So uh, there are a few things that you're going to want to know uh, for how to create different formulas and different things like that and the symbols that you need to put in place. So the very first one is going to be addition. And so to do addition, it's pretty much going to be exactly what you ex would expect. We're going to console log and we're going to do num1 and just the plus sign and then we're going to do num2. And then we're going to see that gives us 12. So addition is very easy, pretty much exactly what you'd expect. So console log num1, we're going to do subtraction now. And it's just the subtraction symbol, the minus symbol, right next to the plus. And then we're going to do num2 in the parentheses, semicolon, and now that returns 8, which is exactly what we would expect. Uh, next one we're going to do is going to be the multiplication. This one may be a little bit new to you if you've never done any kind of programming. So we'll do console log num1 and then an asterisk. So an asterisk, or a lot of people don't like to say asterisk just because it can be harder to say. So a lot of times you'll hear them just say star. So then that's what we're going to say. So num1 star num2, you'll see that returns 20. And then we're going to do console log num1 divided by num2. And so the divided is just going to be the forward slash. And that returns a 5. Now one that you may not be aware of but you will use quite a bit is the modulus operator. Modulus is the remainder operator essentially. So it's going to return back whatever the remainder would be. And so uh, if you remember back to your math days, depending on how long ago that was, uh, we'll do no, oops, sorry, lost my place on my keyboard. Uh, num1 modulus is going to be the percent sign, and then we'll do num2, and you'll see that returns a zero because 10 divided by 2 is 5. Uh, but now we'll switch it up and we'll change, we'll reassign num1 to 11 so that's now equal to 11 and then we'll do the exact same thing we'll console log num1 which is now equal to 11 modulus num2 and and you can see that returns a 1 so we're going to get into, uh, in the next section, how we can actually use some of this math and put together formulas. And one of the things we're going to be doing is using the modulus operator and showing you some practical ways that, uh, that you can do that. Uh, and so if you have any questions, please leave them on the comments of this video, and I'll see you in the next one.